Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Hello everyone. We are going to discuss sir, some important points about verb to be. So let's begin. M. Who? Pashto. The yum. The yum. I am. The yum. M. Yum. The I. I am a teacher. Make teacher who? They are Ustaz Yum. Ustaz is used for male teacher and Ustaz is used for female teacher. So don't confuse with that. The your Ustaz Yum. The I. Yo A. Ustaz teacher. Yum M. Singular verb. Used in present tense. Used with subject I. Is He. Pashto, de ya da. De is used for masculine, while da is used for feminine. Is is used is is when is is used for masculine, the meaning will be de. And when it is used for feminine, the meaning will be da. She or he is a teacher. Wo ek ustad hai. Wo ek ustad hai. Haga yau ustaz de. Ya haga yawa ustaza da. Singular verb. Ustaza feminine. She. She is a teacher. Haga yawa ustaza da. He is a teacher. Haga yau ustaz de. Singular verb used in present tense used with subject he she it and other singular subjects He is she is a teacher Haga yawa ustazada Haga yawa ustazada It is a bag Da yo bag ya basta da Da yo bag de With bag we will use de because in Pashto, if you are using the word bag, it will be considered as masculine. While translating it into proper Pashto, da yawa basta da. With masculine, we use yaw, and with feminine, we use yawa. Are, hey. They are, wo hain, haghidi ya haghidi. They are teachers. Wo ustad hain. Agui ustazan di ya ustazi di. Agai ustazan di. If we are talking about male teachers, group of teachers, then we will say agui ustazan di. If we are talking about female teachers, yani wo ustaniya hain, tab ham kenge agui ustazi di. We are ham hain. Mung you. We are teachers. Mung ustazan you. You are tum ho te ye te ye. You are a teacher. Tum ek ustad ho te yo ustad ye. Or agar ham kenge ke tum ek ustani ho, tab then we will use te yawa ustaza ye. They are wo hain. Hagui di. They are teachers. Wo ustad hain. Hagui ustazan di. If we are talking about female teachers, yani wo ustaniya hai tab, then we will use hagi ustaz ustazidi. Used in present tense, used with subject we, you, they, and other plural subjects. Tha was, wo, wo. Singular verb used in past tense, used with subject I, he, she, it, and other singular subjects. I was, me tha, pishto. The womb, the womb, the singular we will use for the past was, for was we will use womb. Me tha. I was a teacher. Me kustas tha. Me kustas tha. Se yo ustaz womb. Wo tha. He was. Haga wo. Haga wo. For he, we will use with he when you are using was. Then the meaning in the Pashto will be Haga wo wo. He was a teacher. Wo ek ustaz tha. Haga yau ustaz wo. She was wo thi. Haga wa for feminine. She 
when we are using was it will be hagawa she was a teacher wo ek ustad wo ek ustani thi hagawa ustaza wa it was for things wo tha it was a drama wo ek drama tha hagawa drama wa yawa drama is feminine so we use yawa if drama is masculine then we will use yaw aga yaw drama then at the end we will use wo for masculine but it is feminine so we are using haga yawa drama wa war the plural verb used in the past tense used with subject we you and other plural subjects we were hum the pashto mung wo mung wo we were teachers hum ustad the mung ustazan wo you were tum the to we you were a teacher tum ek ustad the te yo ustaz we te yo ustaz we they were wo the hagui ya hagui wo wo ustad the they were teachers agai ustazan wo hope you will enjoy this lesson if you found any confusion in this lesson you can ask for that i will clarify it by making another video for that use the comment section for asking any kind of help join our group and also subscribe to our channel if you are not subscribed yet fi amanillah assalamu alaikum